hey guys uh, welcome back to my channel so guys uh, this is the third part of the video i mean php crud so we are creating the insert delete update and fetch right so guys in previous video that we have learned how to insert the data okay and uh, to fetch the data so fetching is the first part of the video and uh, inserting is the second and now we are going to edit the data okay so i'll show you the form okay so guys till now we have inserted the data and fetch the data okay so this is how we insert and and it will be displayed over here okay so if you want to know how to do this please watch out the previous video so guys now we are going to edit the data and update it okay so if we click on edit and uh, change this name to some else name it should get updated right so for that let's get started yeah guys so till now we have done two parts so i am going to create one new file for that uh, update data okay oops it's in the full caps update update data dot php yeah guys so now file is ready so we have to go to our index page okay so where we have displayed the data so this is a part one video okay so inside that if you have not done with the part one you have to continue with it so guys we are going to edit the data right so we will create one form inside this form action and method is equal to post okay and in this form action we will give update data dot php the file which you created just now okay so we'll give that and we'll cut and paste done so give both slash and let's arranged okay just a separate thing i do so guys if we are retrieving editing the data you need one id right so for that let's create the id so input field i'm going to use input type text so but i'll give hidden name is equal to that is id id and value is equal to the id which you are fetching it okay so we have to declare the value in php so that is echo dollar row of what your id okay if, uh, if you want to give semicolon give otherwise not an issue okay so we are returning this id copy and paste yes so save it and uh, yeah guys so our thing is ready now so if you click on this button this update dot data dot php it should go okay so there is one spelling mistake ah. so it will go to the update data dot php over here so guys let's design this form where we are going to update the form okay so html5 so first thing is that i will include my bootstrap link okay and this is my bootstrap link so i'm going to include over here paste it and yeah guys so you have to fetch it okay so i'll just start with the code itself and give the php code and uh, first is nothing but dollar connection connection is equal to mysqli um connect that is your localhost localhost comma username that is root and password is empty and next is database is equals to mysql i select underscore db where i'm going to connect this okay so just copy paste and your database name okay so my database name is uh, php crud okay 
type php crud crud and yeah continue so we are declaring bytes id right so where is that form yeah this we insert don't need okay so we are working with index and update data so if you are taking the id so you have to declare the id right so dollar id is equals to dollar underscore post of id okay done and now we have to give the qri query is equals to inside this select star from your table name okay so that is student go back to the the student where id is equals to dollar of id okay so this id we are posting here okay done and now what we are going to do is that we will run this query query run is equal to that is my sqli query of what your connection what can on on watch on which data base it will be working okay so if you want in more detail please watch out my all the previous videos of that how to connect the database how to work with database according to the codes okay so now to up uh, to search okay to retrieve those id we have done we are retrieving the data by its id right so after retrieving the data then we are going to insert it okay so let's give one if statement that is if this dollar query this dollar query is not a mm, else else Oops. echo data not found okay so we are going to tell that CRIPT script alert and you have to declare that no record found okay if the record is found they show the value okay so dollar row is equal to that is uh, mysql i fetch underscore a r r a y array what is this a r r a y array of method okay so you have declared this now the main part start where you are going to fetch it so you are going to fetch into the html form okay so just divide the php and design your form so guys till here the code is done now we are going to design the form so container we said that no confusion guys please don't get confused so i'll just zoom it a little bit and here so this is a container and now on jumbotron i'll use spelling mistakes jumbotron okay and so fetch oops i forgot to give in the while loop so please don't forget that okay so just paste that and design the form okay so h2 give that h2 as update data okay php okay crud cred that is update data <coughs> and in this hr row where i'm going to to the data okay and now the form should be designed okay so the form is already designed because in last video we have done that how to insert the data okay so we have done with that so i'll copy that form okay and paste it inside my 
form okay so i'll show you that is no confusion where here it is starting while loop and inside while loop this is my while loop bracket and this is the end of bracket so inside that i am declaring my forms okay so these are my forms and yeah guys so let's continue with that so first thing is that we have to include one id okay so that is wait first let me align it okay so that is my id input okay type is equals to hidden i will give and uh, and name is nothing but your id okay id oops id and you are the value okay your value should be displayed so di to dis display the value you have to use php and open php where you are echoing the dollar row dollar row of your id okay so that is id done so likewise you have to fetch the all the data okay so just copy this and paste okay paste 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 okay so for this is f name and l name where you are giving okay so these are all the values okay so copy and paste okay so these are nothing but your uh, tables from the database okay where you are declaring this row is nothing but over your while loop done so no confusion guys now you have to update the data and uh, for the button let's change the name update and this will be update data okay and this will go to index page itself okay so where you are going to display and this is for cancel okay cancel yeah guys so let's check the output for this first whether the data is retrieved or what let's go back to a page and click reload and let's edit Oops, it's not getting it's not getting redirected okay so let's go and check in the insert page so update data oh guys uh, it's a mistake over here i'm not using href so i'll be using one button okay so just let's do with the button thing okay so just cancel this and use input type is equal to submit and use the name as edit edit and i don't need id so i need one class where i'm going to declare btn btn scc as a success okay and uh, we'll declare give a value that it should edit okay so oops what is this so guys let's run this and check out i hope so it works okay so i'm going to edit the first data edit boom so the value is getting retrieved in the database i mean the update dot update data dot php file now if we click on update the data should get updated and go to the index page right so let's code for that updating the form so let's go to update data okay let me close this insert one so there's no confusion in this now yeah let it be zoomed itself okay so this was our button to update the data okay so what i will do is that below the form only i'll start coding for update okay php and open and php so now connection is already given at the top okay so connection is done right so we don't need connection again so we'll just directly where is the code guys i'm only getting confused in this 
it's a lengthy code not lengthy it's very simple code but getting messed up that's it so nothing to get confused in this so just simple if statement we are opening okay so in this i'm going to is set the value that is is set dollar underscore post of what your button okay so what is that button is this update so just paste it update and give it over here okay so first is thing is that dollar f name i'm going to update right so dollar f name underscore post of your f name okay this is from database right and copy paste paste f name l name okay that is last name last name and this is contact copy and paste it over here contact so guys let's run the update query so query is equals to double quotes into that so update your table name student okay student name that set the database name so this name something but from your database okay so inside that you are going to declare the variables okay f name name is equals to single quotes comma and contact is equal to single quotes done where by id you are going to declare it okay let's copy control c control v control c control v copy and paste it done and over here your dollar id okay so this dollar id is from the this text box okay no confusion dots and uh, yeah so let's run this query so qry query run is equal to my sql i underscore query that is the connection okay let me close the semicolon so over here you have to give your connection okay so at the top of your code the connection which you have given so copy that and paste it okay comma and your query dollar q e r y query what is this so this query copy and paste done and now you have to simple question uh, simple if statement whether the data is stored or what okay so you are going to check that so if otherwise it's not stored right it's just a simple statement so what we have to give is that echo so i'll copy that echo already which we have declared over here so i'll just copy and this is my code paste where we are going to tell data updated okay and after updating it should take to the header location so location is to index.php oops i should give in double quotes okay so index.php and paste when the data is not found data data not updated okay so guys up to now the query is perfect now we will check the output okay so this is the form okay to design and we have the given the button update and it's going to update button and click and update the data so guys mm, 
yeah let's execute it reload and we are going to edit the first thing as with as youtube okay so i'll give youtube channel okay subscribe it so i'm going to update so there is some error that is my sqli function update it's telling the 57 let's go and check so 57 let's here we have to give underscore and yeah let's edit once again let's go and give some youtube channel let's update yeah here guys boom so we have successfully updated the thing okay so now we are going to update this third line edit it and update it so please subscribe my channel okay so now let's update so you have got the please subscribe my channel if you reload also the data will be same okay so guys that's it in this video like we have how learned how to edit and update the data in simple pure php okay so guys thank you for watching this video once again and please subscribe like and share thank you